Play seven minutes in heaven in the no, bowl with no, me. No, 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 no. Commence seeing the studio work day in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, my camera was reversed. And my phone, my hand was over it. Man. I'm gonna do that again. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Doesn't go to work. Let's see. Let's see how dry our stuff is. It appears as though these things are ready. Go into the kiln. That one's still a little damp. But you know what? We're gonna put a little preheat on that bad boy. This stuff's gotta go. Anyway, you look good. Nice. To uncover the work from yesterday. I'll turn down and I get hung around. Oh, 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 that looks good. See these trash bags laying around my studio everywhere? It's not because I'm a nasty, trashed up person. Well, I kinda am. But, it's not because of the trash bags. They serve a purpose. Oh my. Oh boy, count time. I got a little bit of trepidation about this one. Cause my red looks a little funny when I mix it up. Oh, it looks good though. It looks good. That feels nice. Every now and then, well, through the years, I have to like substitute ingredients or whatever, materials for my glazes. And they change through the years. There's always a little bit of hesitation when you're moving over to something else. I changed my talc not too long ago. I can't get the original talc that I was using, but I have a different kind of talc now. And it's in this red. And this red looks good. It's still pretty warm. It's not too warm. But the glaze certainly looks different when applied now. And also my red iron oxide looks, uh, the whole thing just looks different. It looks weird. The ingredients change through the years. That's the moral of the story. Also, still haven't had coffee. Maybe I'll choose one of these mugs to use today. Brush out the kiln. Red looks good. Could probably thicken it up a little bit. That'll do. It'll do. Oh, got some lids jars in here. I haven't done these in a while. Boy, that green is popping. Oh, oh, oh. That. That's a problem right there. Mm-hmm. Yep, didn't even notice that when I picked it up. Glaze ran like the dickens on that one. That does not bode well for the rest of the green in this batch. That's fine on that one. It ran pretty good. I'm gonna have to thin that out a bit. Ooh, green is pretty, but it is fickle, man. This blue, it's, it's always, this blue's always good. It stays put and it looks pretty. All right, I don't feel like putting my gloves on. I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit. And we'll unload that in a bit. Coffee acquired. I have a new mug. I decided to treat myself to a mug that, well, I needed a new mug. And I will become more aware and cognizant and able to speak once I'm done with this. That's me. Time to do the pup to me. I want to know where my wire is at. There's my wire. Wire acquired. Clay acquired. Normally I do this on a table, but my tables are full right now. Oh man, I have got to get some stuff in the kiln. But first, I have got to get these last few pieces on the table. Got honey pots and little bows. Time to clear up some table space. Trim some of these. Bow trimmed. Oh, yeah. Let's go get the kiln unloaded and then get the kiln reloaded. Actually, gonna load a different kiln later today, maybe. Sorry, right, about to get loud. Here we go. Unload it. It's unloaded. Man, disappointed this jar. Nah, it happens. It happens. Let's just see what we have. That's a nice big bowl. Chew. I did a video with this guy. Check, 
check my channel out. Hey, you guys can see. That's much better. Sorry about that before. I'm not going to show you that stuff again. Because I'm lazy. Alabama mugs. Man, that green is looking good. Give shelf a little pop. Likes to stick to the stilts just a little. Now, this one's dangerous now. Well, that slice you right up. Let's see what we got in this layer. Oh boy. Black glaze is looking good. Here's our lid. One of our lids. With our blue jar. Hello. I'm a lidded jar. He should talk out of his mouth, but he doesn't. He talks out of his lid. Hey. Hey, you guys. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Glad you're here. Subscribe. Oh. A little something out of the ordinary. I'm a mug. Oh. What else we got? Here's another green. Everything else looks good on the green. I think what happened with that jar is probably when my Megs was dipping, she let it touch the bottom of the bucket. And it's real thick down there at the bottom, depending on how you get it mixed up. I got these guys. Their little spoons will be down at the bottom. I remember loading this kiln now. Got some cross mugs in this batch. Here's the honeypot for that green lid I pulled out. Hello. Did that one on a YouTube video. It's rigid bowl. Anything else out of the ordinary? Hey guys, nice to see ya. I approve. And big bowl. For the big bowl in this batch. Tongue spoons. Salt cellar. It's tongue sticking out. Good in there. That's salt sound effects right there. Oh, and shot glasses. All right, tequila. Wow, I'm an idiot. One more for the road. Honey pot. Ooh, now you guys are riding on the water. We're going to quickly offload this thing so that I can go and load a bisque. That is, in fact, the goal. All right, unloaded. Nice. Onward. All righty, let's do this. I might have to change my kiln stilts out. I've been doing three layers, but I'm gonna have to swap back to a four layer, which also means I'm gonna put all my short stuff. This is a short stuff. This is a tall stuff. I'm gonna put the tall stuff not on this middle layer to make it easier for me to load the kiln. And as I put these on the rack, I'm going to check the bottoms, make sure I don't have any S cracks or anything that would preclude them or exclude them from the firing. Let's do it. Sip break. Cheers. Mmm. That is so good. Oh boy. We loaded and we rolling. Let's go. Now it's time to put this into this. Oh boy. Loading the bisque is the first firing and you load it once the pieces are completely dried out most of the time. These are not entirely completely dried out. So this one's got a little dampness. You probably can't tell the camera. I can tell from the feel and the look of it. But you can solve for that by raising the kiln temp up to about 200 degrees, boiling point, and holding that for an extended period of time. I'll probably set this one for just a few hours. It'll be fine. Uh, they're not just like terribly wet or anything. I don't like doing that all the time, but when you're on a schedule and you have a schedule to keep, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Well, that's what we gotta do today. As I load these things, I'm checking them for any blemishes or anything I can easily knock off. If there's a rough spot I can knock down now, it's easiest here. The Biscount is pretty easy to load because you can actually just like stack things in there. The glaze kiln you can't, stuff can't touch or it'll fuse together. But in this one, stuff can touch. The downside or the more difficult part of loading the bisque is everything is super fragile in this state. If you were to hold this mug like that with the rim, that would just totally break. It's so brittle. You gotta get used to handling greenware. I haven't broken a mug loading it in a while. See, there's one I'm fixing right there. Just kind of sanded it down with my fingernail a little bit. Looking good. All right, let's get this finished up.
Oh boy, last layer. I think I say that a lot. Do I say oh boy a lot? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start editing this video and I'm gonna be like, dang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to bleep myself every time I say oh boy. And you guys will think I'm swearing or something. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Almost there. Oh boy. Some of these are pretty tall. I'm gonna have to lay them over. I like it like that. Bikini, bikini, I like it like that. Nope. I could fit like one more thing. Actually, fit like two more things. But after this one, we'll be fairly caught up on our bisque firing. That's good. All right. Let's turn around. We need a bisque firing with a preheat. Cone fire. Preheat, we're going to go with uh, four hours on this one. Probably a little overkill, but I always overkill my preheats. Cone, four, medium speed, hold, no hold. All right, hold is just like it holds at the top. All right, we'll check our program. Let's do this. Here, click. That's my killing ritual, by the way. I do that every time. Now it's time for me to glaze some bowls. There's not a ton of glaze left. Well, I mean, this is a decent amount to do mud. But I may have to mix up some to get these bowls. We'll find out. Like I said, I use an old Coleman cooler to do my big stuff glazing because they don't quite fit in the buckets. It's going to be low, though. I might could tilt it. We'll see. There's also turning the bowls. All right, here we go. This one is already half dead from the other day. Oh yeah, we got enough. We're good, we just roll it. Tilt it up and get the inside. Boom, got it. Looks good, looks good. Hey, I'm gonna be a blue bow. All right, another n Hello, I'm a big boy. If you have to, If you have to tell people you're a big boy, you're not a big boy. I'm trying not to hit the bottom, but that's all right. As long as it's hitting the face. Let's not hit it on the back, on this side. Face side's up, so it's gonna be wiped off anyways. Let's not break the bowl. And we are done with that. Oh yeah! Notice I didn't say, oh boy. I was just taking a coffee break. I was plugging my phone in because it's already at like 50% on the day from recording the things. I bought these chargers on Amazon and they work and they work great and they work fast. But they put off this terrible, awful, metallic burny smell every time I charge my phone. <laughs> I'm a little scared to use them, actually. Maybe I should send them back. No unattended charging. Hey guys, guess what? My Megs is here. Okay. Good morning. I am here. And Chad's got a new, like, selfie stick prop thing. I'm trying to figure out how to hold nice it. To see Chad, you. no. I have forbidden Chad to put the hey, big... You take the big ball off your head. Get in here no, I'm not it's very awesome I, in This here. is like a hair drying unit. Get me out of hey, this thing. I don't what's that, <laughs> what's that game where you, you go in the closet and you, like, kiss and stuff? Oh, my word. No, Sit. I'm not... Play seven minutes in heaven in the hole no, with no, me. No, 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 get me out of that thing. <laughs> but anyway, Actually, I can't wear no, the bowl, Chad's bro. no longer, I have forbidden the bowl because ever since wearing it, he has complained of a massive headache. I did, I had a headache. Yes, Apparently his neck muscles are not as strong as we initially thought and he wore them out yesterday. Yeah. He's been taking some Advil. But I'm gonna, I need a hat. There's, I brought you a smaller bowl. Where's I brought, that? it's over there, it's on the table. Boom. I brought you a more, it's a more manageable bowl, so it hopefully won't strain your neck muscles. Let's see. This, this new, this new camera situation is giving me a bicep workout. Hey, you want, hold on, wait. How is it? I still am not good at the, there we go. Your real test. There you are. Is how, how you can dance in how it, dance. how well you yeah. can dance in it. We'll see. Wait, here you go. Let me get you in the full screen. This is going to be a little bit of awkward, like, me finagling the camera for a minute because I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on, I need my cushion. I love that your cushion is just a, a black 
sleeveless tank top. Wait. Are we ready? Well, there we go. This is like counterintuitive. You're going to need to add music to this. It's just not, it's not the same. It's, it's also it's... not the same with me trying to get you in the camera. <laughs> I can't understand. My brain won't work to move it. Do I go out or you know in, up or down? My mags, this you know is what they so say? confusing. No pain. No, no. Okay. you know what? You know what I say? If you're going to do that, then do not complain to me about your headache. I'm still trying to get you in the camera. This is so confusing. My brain is not swapping gears. Ah! Now it's time to make the eyes and the teeth. Settling in. Pretty chill activity right here. This is going to be the the faces for the goblets that I've made and my honey pots and my little bowls. The little bowls are just going to have eyeballs. Those are nice and easy. And normally, I would be doing this at a table, but I'm at my pottery wheel today because my tables are all covered in stuff. I actually cleared off a table when I loaded the bisque, but it's about to have um, stuff on it to dry when I get around to moving things around. And, and as I finish these goblets and honey pots and bowls up, those will be moved over there. Clay's a little dried out. And now we will put the faces on the cups. Let's do a, we're gonna do a guy and a girl right here. Ready? We'll just put that right there. It's pretty easy to clean off the bats later on. Easier to clean off the bats than to clean off the tables. Which, it really doesn't matter because the uh, tables need to be cleaned off anyways. And then this slurry is just like the runoff from my pottery wheel. I'm gonna make this stuff right here lip or slurry. I call it slurry because I just get the stuff out of my splash pans and stir it up till it's smooth. Bumped that one. Have to clean that one up when I trim it. I killed him. Bloody, he fell down and he smashed his face. Ah! All right, so I finished up my goblets. They are all on the drying table and I'm doing my last bit of making for the day. These are my little egg separators. These work, you crack an egg in there and you pour it out and the egg white just kind of slops out of the mouth right there. Pretty cool, way cooler than using your hand. All right. Now we're getting this stuff trimmed that I made earlier today. Cruising on through. Boom. 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 I gotta hustle up and get my kiln loaded. It is time to go to the house. I've been here nearly 12 hours at this point. Well, excluding lunch and my workout time, which took about 30 minutes. You go who, you go who, who. Almost there. A few more pieces. Got it. All these bats rounded up. Future me will be thankful to present me for getting all these bats stacked up and ready to go. Almost there. Two more tasks remain. Cover up the things. I don't think I showed this earlier, but this is what Megs was working on today. I dipped the bowls, but she came in, wiped, and detailed them all. Finished them up. Sorry, my camera stand is smacking the things. This is what we're going to load up in the kiln. I most definitely have to get that bowl right there into this firing because it is a test piece. So, much like this red, my green glaze also has an ingredient swap that is upcoming. Oh, oh yeah. Oh boy. And now we have refilled 
our drying table with the other things that I have made this week. Well, some of the other things I've made this week. From here over, this is the stuff I made today. Put the faces on these goblets. But I did not leave myself much time at the end of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the little vlog thing we did today. I enjoyed making it. It was quite fun. If you guys watched all, all the way to the end, thank you guys. I really appreciate that. I hope that you join me in the next video. And I gotta go. I really do have to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye.